Baltimore football star as a plant high school quarterback turns himself into deputies following accusations of domestic battery. But his attorney issues argues it was all a consensual relationship centered around a sexual fetish. And we do want to warn you that some of you may find the details and images in this story quite disturbing. Our Isabel Rosales joins us live by the Hillsborough County Jail with the details on this. Isabel. Deputies booked Robert Marv here this morning for an arrest warrant out of Key West. Now we dug into all those police records and found more details on the disturbing allegations. While at Plant High School, he was a star quarterback. Leading the Panthers to a state championship. But now accusations from an ex-girlfriend claiming Robert Marv beat her until she was bruised and bloodied. Channing Tomes wrote in police records Marv became angry during a July vacation to Key West after he found out another man messaged her on social media. She says he beat her, stomped on her throat, and pulled out a knife on her. She also mentions another incident in May where she says he got upset at a club and bit her lip, beating her outside and sexually assaulting her at his home. We tried speaking to Marv about the claims, but when we knocked on his door, no one answered. His attorney refused an on-camera interview, but did give me a statement over the phone. Denying the allegations, he described the five-month relationship as one of bondage and dominant submissive sex, saying, quote, everything that went on between them, although unconventional, was consensual. But Tomes argues otherwise, telling me via text, Robert Marv is no Christian Grey. The abuse I and other victims endured was not sexually based, but pure evil. Rape and domestic violence is never okay. I have found that the only safe word with Robert Marv is 911. We also reached out to Hillsborough County Public Schools where Marv was a volunteer assistant coach for the football team. A spokesperson tells us he is not involved in the program and will not be in the future pending the investigation's outcome. Now Marv bonded out already this morning. His felony charges also impacting his current position as a athletic director at Tampa Sports Academy. We're told by their uh, attorney that they have placed him on a leave of absence as this investigation continues. Now we also looked and see to see if there were any sort of allegations from other women against Marv. We could not find any. Live in Hillsborough County, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News. All right, Isabel